Hi, I'm Devia Gugnani, and we're here at Avoce, where diners enjoy ingredient-driven, regionally-inspired Italian fare. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef. I'm here with executive chef Missy Robbins. Missy, what are we making? We're making a little fresh pasta called tubetti with grilled calamari. It's a very light, fresh, summery dish. It just went on the menu. So Missy, garlic is something that people use in their cooking every day. So what kind of garlic do you buy? How do you prepare it? I always buy a whole garlic, the whole bulb. I just find it's fresher. When you cook, my food's very simple. So when you cook very simple food, everything has to be as fresh as possible, as clean as possible. So a really easy tip that I do is, um, these are just the garlic cloves. I took the head and I peeled all the cloves off. Um, and what we do is we just soak them in a little water. The warm water loosens the skin up a little bit. It'll be really easy to peel. You can either do it like this, or you can kind of just take a, a paring knife. And peel and it, it right comes off. right off. Missy, another thing about cooking Italian food is that you notice that Italians use a lot of garlic. And sometimes I feel like the home cook doesn't know how much to use. One of the most important things I think I learned when I, when I cooked in Italy was that they don't use a lot of garlic, especially in the north where I was, where I was living. They use it, but they often will take like a whole clove and they'll saute in oil, but they'll pull that clove out and... So you mildly kind of... You mildly, but it's about balance. It's right. about not just tasting garlic. And you'll taste, when you taste this dish, that there's garlic in it, but it's not the predominant flavor. It's just one of several flavors that makes the dish what it is. This has been marinated in lemon zest, orange zest, a little bit of chili, parsley, um, and garlic and olive oil. So you start on a really, really hot grill. Um, it already has oil in it. So you just go through the hottest part of the grill and you wanna make sure you kind of wipe some of the oil off, otherwise so you don't want you'll, it get to a, up. you'll get a lot of flare up. All right, so we're gonna cut it lengthwise, which kind of for this dish is cool because it emulates the same shape as the pasta we're going for. We start our sauce. Just start with a little olive oil, just a little chopped garlic. We just keep it in a little olive oil so that it doesn't dry out. So after the garlic is kind of sweat in your olive oil, these have been, um, these are the tentacles to the calamari, mm -hmm. and these have been very slowly braised in olive oil with all of the same kind of elements that were in the bodies. So you're just gonna put your tentacles in here, and you want some of that juice. That's all flavor from the braising. And Missy, if you didn't have tentacles, you're cooking at home, what would you use instead? Extra bodies. <laughs> extra, extra bodies. I mean, this is just an added plus that we right. get it, but you can get these from your lo local fishmonger. Absolutely. Right. A little white wine. This is sort of the secret to this. This is the juices, like we talked about before, from the calamari. So when you're grilling that calamari and you pull it off and you have it in a pan, don't throw it out. It's the good stuff. Sure. This is dried orange. This is just the um, zest of an orange that we cook in a little simple syrup so it gets the sweetness and the bitterness. These are these really cool chilies that we just found from Basilicata. Um, they're not hot, they're sort of a sweet, smoky, earthy chili. So Missy, what are we having? We're having uh, this awesome fresh pasta dish that just went on our menu. It's called tubetti. Um, it's with grilled calamari, dried orange, and basil. It's got a little garlic, a little chili in it. So Missy, what do you think? I think uh, this is a delicious pasta, otherwise I'm not sure it would be on my menu. People always ask me what to order when I go to tables and I talk to guests, and I'm like, well, it's all great, it just kinda depends on your mood. And this is a great dish for the summer, for the warm, um, because it's light and sort of seafoody and fresh and It's perfect very for summer. Well, Missy, thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. On Behind the Burner, you can take advantage of our special promotion to enjoy fresh, flavorful Christopher Ranch heirloom garlic. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.